Hey guys, today is actually a very exciting video because we are doing a drive through barbecue mukbang and I am so excited for this food. So I really wanted to film a video today, but I was not in the mood for fast food. So I thought, okay, let me finally do the barbecue video that I've been talking about for a while. So we are gonna go to this place called Country Barbecue. They have just regular home style barbecue and a bunch of different fixins that you can choose from. And I think we're gonna to get a dessert as well. I don't know, we'll do a pretty good mukbang, but I will see you guys once we get over there. Hi, um, could I do the two meat uh, combo plate? What's your two meat? Can I do the chopped pork barbecue as well as the coarse chopped? What's your thought? Can I do mashed potatoes and gravy and green beans? Anything else for you? Yes, could I also do the peach cobbler with ice cream? And then, yeah. um, can I just do a barbecue sandwich? Anything else for you? Nope, that's gonna be it. Just put a knife at your core. Okay, thank you. I have no clue how much she said that was, but I don't know if you guys do this whenever you're ordering, but when I'm ordering at a drive-thru, I never know if I should just keep going with my order or if I should wait for them to repeat each item back to me. Does that make sense? Like, when I say, okay, I want the barbecue plate, I don't know if I should wait for them to be like, okay, what's your two sides? Or if I should just like keep going with what my two sides are. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but yeah. Here you go. But yeah, because sometimes people, I mean, also it's very hard to hear at those intercoms, I will say. When I worked at McDonald's, sometimes you could not hear anything and it just depended on the speaker that day, how, how the speaker wanted to act. Thank you. Okay, so the price was $29.64, which I know sounds expensive because it's literally $30, but the two meat combo is, oh, they actually went up on their prices. It used to be $15 and now it's $19. Oh Lord, I did not realize they went up that high. The peach cobbler with ice cream was $4, which is fair. And then the chopped pork barbecue sandwich was $4.79, which is also pretty fair. I got that for Gabe, so I probably won't eat the sandwich. But yeah, the two meat combo, it's almost $20 now. That's, that's a bit pricey, especially when it used to be $15. But anyways, yeah, you never know like how fast you should tell your order because some people are like on top of it and they just want you to keep going and ordering until you finish and then other people they like to be more interactive with the order I guess does that make sense but yeah anyways I wanted to address with you guys I did not do the McDonald's Halloween pails and I really wanted to because they just looked really cool but honestly this week at work was just insane it was such a crazy week I could not get over to McDonald's and at this point they are sold out I did get one though so I'm gonna show you guys the pail that I got but I went after work and by that time it was dark because it was evening and I just I don't know I just didn't really think to film it that late but thank you you too oh my gosh big bag you guys a big big bag oh I'm excited okay the barbecue has been secured I'm excited. Okay, but yeah, back to the Halloween pail. So I just could not make it over there to film it. I really wanted to, but I didn't. I will show you guys the pail that I got because I really wanted one just in case. I think they may restock them on Tuesday because I don't know if this is for everywhere, but the McDonald's near me, they do restock on... Oh, the sun's going to be in the way. If I park here, it's going to be so mother flipping red. Okay, let me see, I think the sun, oh, yeah, see the sun is not good here. But if I park the other way, it's gonna be really red. I don't know why, I don't know why my camera comes off 
so freaking red anyways i found some parking but yeah the mcdonald's near me they restock on tuesdays so i may try and film it on tuesday i don't know let me know if you guys really want to see that video in time for halloween like if it's something you guys really want to see i will try my best to make it happen but if you don't really care i know a lot of people don't even care for halloween also let me know let's get on to the barbecue so here is the peach cobbler with the ice cream i'm gonna save this until well i'll put it out on the tray because i am gonna get my tray out oh my gosh you guys you guys look at this ginormous box okay let's open it up i've never gotten the two meat combo from this place i've always wanted to but i've never felt the need to get two meats it also comes with hush puppies oh wow okay i don't know if you guys can see but they give a ton of hush puppies okay let me actually get my tray out first and then i'll show you the food i think that might be a little bit easier so give me one second okay you guys i believe we are fully set up now so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the barbecue plate we are gonna be diving into so this is the chopped barbecue this is the coarse chopped barbecue then we have green beans mashed potatoes and gravy and they give like a white gravy and then we also got some hush puppies and then here's the peach cobbler which i will show you guys once we're ready to dive into that now i did make a mistake because i forgot to ask for extra barbecue sauce so if you ever come to these restaurants that serve barbecue make sure you ask for extra barbecue sauce because it's really good to pour onto it but it's still pretty soaked in there i'm gonna try the chopped one first oh yeah it's still so good i find that with the pork barbecue it's usually pretty soaked in there, but if you get chicken, you definitely need the extra barbecue sauce. Depending on the restaurant. This is so good though. Ugh. I love barbecue, you guys. I think barbecue is so freaking good. Here's the coarse chopped barbecue. The difference between the chopped and the coarse chopped is the coarse chopped is bigger chunks and then the chopped is a lot smaller. Mm. It's also really good. I think I prefer the regular chop though. They're mashed potatoes always hit the spot who else loves mashed potatoes guys drop a thumbs up on this video if you love mashed potatoes like me because they are by far one of the best sides now mac and cheese is so good they do serve mac and cheese here if you're someone who likes mac and cheese they got the mac and cheese i would have got the mac and cheese but i just love the green beans and the mashed potatoes mixed together like you take your green beans dip it in the mashed potatoes it is so good like that combination is fire I'm telling you guys and then you can take the hush puppy and dip it into the mashed potatoes. Mmm. I feel like people will probably ask that don't know what a hush puppy is. If you've never heard of a hush puppy, it's basically just fried dough. Right? It's like fried... It's almost like fried cornbread. Something like that. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get a huge bite of everything. We got the green beans, mashed potatoes, and the chopped pork, which I just dropped all over me. <laughs> Ooh, so good. So I'm going to my friend's Halloween party tonight and I am so excited. That is why I didn't do the olive garden mukbang because i told you guys about how i wanted to do an olive garden mukbang i would have done that today but i knew that was going to be really heavy and my friend makes the best finger foods so i'm excited
But yeah, she's making a bunch of finger foods. We are all dressing up. It's also her first like house party in her new house because her and her boyfriend bought a house together. It's kind of like a Halloween party slash housewarming party because it's the first like get together they've had in their house, but It's gonna be really fun. I'm super excited to dress up. I also got Mello a Halloween costume. I'm not gonna tell you guys what we are going as because I want it to be a surprise because I want to do a video where we wear the Halloween costumes. So you guys will probably see the Halloween costumes once we dress up in a video. But if I don't happen to do it, I will post a picture on my Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on my Instagram, it's just Sue. I'll pop it up on the screen. So check my Instagram out and follow me over there so you can see... Mello and I in our Halloween costume. Very excited. Mm. And then I don't know if I told you guys this in a previous video. I don't think I did, but Gabe and I went and saw Smile in the movie theaters and y'all need to go see it. It is so good. It actually gave me a nightmare. I usually don't get spooked easily or have nightmares from scary movies, but this one gave me a nightmare and it was very freaky. So highly recommend going to see it if you can. Hopefully it'll come out on something soon. One of you guys, Karen, Karen is someone that I talk to pretty often on Instagram. So shout out to you, Karen. <laughs> she told me that Halloween Kills is on Peacock. Or no, Halloween Ends. Halloween Kills is the second one we just watched. Halloween Ends is the third one that just came out that we still need to see. So apparently it's out on Peacock. And Gabe and I really didn't want to pay to go see it because we didn't know if we were going to like it based on the second one. But yeah, apparently it's out on Peacock, so we're gonna watch it on there. And we're gonna see how it is. I really wanna try the ribs from this place. I have not tried their ribs yet. I would have done it for this video, but that would have been so messy and hard to eat in the car. So. I was like, you know what? Let me keep it simple. This already is really hard. Like this plate is sitting on top of this cardboard box and the cardboard box is like caving in. <laughs> Hopefully we won't have any mishaps in the midst of filming. I also hope you guys find this interesting. I know it's not fast food and you guys love to see fast food, but... I figured it's good to switch it up. And I've had a lot of people ask me to see more homestyle food. And this is about as homestyle as it gets. <laughs> this is very much a meal that to me is homestyle Southern cooking. I think North Carolina is known for their barbecue, especially Lexington. I live about 30-ish to 45 minutes away from Lexington and yeah, they're, they're big for barbecue. So I really wanna do more local videos. I just don't know if you guys are interested in seeing the local spots near me because they're not near you. And you can't go eat them unless you come to where I am. So that's the only reason why I'm hesitant to do it. But I would love to show the local spots more love, you know? These large corporations, 
like McDonald's and Burger King. Yeah, I love them, don't get me wrong. Y'all know I love my Burger King, but they get so much free press, you know? They get free marketing. And they already get so much money in sales, so we need to show some love to the local spots, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, food is food, so hopefully you guys enjoy me watching, enjoy, enjoy watching me eat, whatever it may be. I really want to try this peach cobbler before the ice cream melts. Let me get a little bit more of this, and then we'll try that. You guys, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. <gasps> There's the peach cobbler. It has like the crust right there. We got our peach there. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, and then this is just plain vanilla ice cream, which obviously goes the best with peach cobbler. Let me switch to the spoon. Oh yeah, that is delicious. That is pure food heaven right there. Oh my gosh, it's so peachy. I know peach is not for everyone. They also have apple here, so your options are either apple or peach. But personally, I love peach. I know it's fall time, but peaches are so good. I also have not had anything sweet in a while, so this is hitting the spot. And it's tender, the peaches are really nice and tender. Wow, you guys, that is yummy. Well, you guys, I am thoroughly happy with this food. I love eating stuff with you guys that we haven't ate on camera before, really. I feel like that makes for really interesting videos. I'm actually planning on doing another um, eating only untried foods for 24 hours where I eat only foods that I've never tried before. This time I'm just gonna do like different fast food items that I've never had because it's not that I've been feeling uninspired. I just feel like I get bored of eating the same stuff all the time. I figured let me do another one of those untried foods because I love trying new foods with you guys. I just think that's the funnest. And that's something I like to see other people do is try foods that they've never had before. I just think it's interesting and a lot of times it's also food that I haven't had so it's cool to see their reaction. So yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. So I feel like you guys can't really see the peach cobbler very well. I could come here all the time and just get this peach cobbler. The peaches are so good. If I'm being honest, it seems like they're just the peaches from the can. <laughs> you know those little peaches that you can get out of the can, like the dull canned peaches? I think that's the kind they use to make it. Maybe not. It's so good though. Especially with the ice cream. I really hope all of these places that are charging so much more for their food are also paying their employees more. Like I'm totally okay with paying for the price increases as long as their employees are getting raises. You know, because if the employees aren't getting paid more, but us customers are paying more for the food. That's not fair to the employees. And a lot of places skimp out on labor cost. Your labor is the backbone of your company. You have to pay your people. I 
and companies just do not pay enough trust me i know i'm in staffing <laughs> i am always trying to fight for pay increases at all the companies i've worked for pay was always the issue companies do not want to pay their employees and it's just i mean it's the most important part you got to pay your employees a livable wage too not minimum wage a livable wage there is a big difference minimum wage does not equal a livable wage sadly especially where I live okay well now I'm just rambling on about labor cost and minimum wage so I don't know where this video has really gone I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off though I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing me eat a different dish than what I would normally do we got some homestyle barbecue and it was so good. So, so, so good. So again, this place was called Country Barbecue. If you wanna look it up, Country Barbecue in North Carolina, check it out. Very good meal today. But I love you guys. If y'all enjoy these kinds of videos and you wanna see more local places, please drop a thumbs up on this video and let me know in the comment section. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.